Thanks to some awesome customer suggestions, CloudShare has introduced an expansion to our Web Access feature. If you're not familiar with Web Access, please check our knowledge base. Web Access lets you assign a unique URL to a web app running on a CloudShare VM and access that app from the internet. In this instance, we'll be using SharePoint 2013 as an example. Our new feature lets you assign app names and suffixes to different web apps running on the same VM, making them more easily accessible. You can then show those names via links directly in your machine's details. We'll come back to that later. SharePoint already has some pre-configured apps already in set to customize. The base SharePoint site is already available via port 80. What we're going to do is take port 8080 and assign our web access URL to that. So let's run through the steps of adding the web access URL as an external address to the site. Here we copy over the URL and then we'll append port 8080 as that's the port we want this web server to listen on. Next we'll head over to IIS and update the URL and port for this website. Here we select the site and edit the bindings. Just drop in the URL and remove the prefix for HTTP. Click close and then you're set. Now we'll head over to the CloudShare UI to configure the web app and suffix settings. Head to Edit Environment and Edit Users and Access, then click Add under URL Suffixes. Provide a unique name here, then add the port we were using in the VM as the suffix and click Save Changes. Next, head back to your VM's Details section and you'll see the custom Web Access link has been added. Now's the moment of truth, so click the link and test that it's working. As it's essentially a new site, we'll need to log back in and confirm our authentication. Finally, once the site starts to load, you can tell it's been configured correctly. Feel free to add more custom web access links as you need.